What's going on everybody? It's your health and fitness specialist Kelly Brown, natural bodybuilder. Um, first of all, I want to thank everybody for watching my videos on Flattered. Um, I definitely want to make a statement that today I'm going to talk about my supplement list and everything that I take. Not necessarily saying that you have to you know, take the same things that I take, but I'll tell you why I take them and how they've worked for me. And I'll tell you at what stages of my my um my year that I take them. If I'm taking them when I'm getting ready for a show, or if I'm taking them to um, just throughout the regular off season, or what I think you should do if you are if you do decide to take them. Uh, I'm gonna show you all my supplements that I have on hand. Some of them I ran out of, so I don't have the actual containers to show you which ones they were. But I'll definitely give you honorable mentions at the end so that you know exactly what I was doing. I also want to make a note to you guys that um, I want to start off my channel one way so that if I'm always honest from the beginning down the line nobody can ever pull my records and say no you said you was doing this and you were doing that and now I have to you know go switch up and change something up so I know I, I, I saw a comment one day in one of my pictures in one of my um, videos that said um, we want to see somebody who's who's natural who doesn't take any supplements or whatever I don't want to lie to you. I take supplements, and I take supplements all the time, and I've been taking supplements, so I don't want to make it seem like I'm I'm just all regular juices and berries and meats and vegetables, and that's all I do. So, no, let's scratch that. First of all, I don't even like to eat food. I only eat food because I have to, not, cause I'm, not because I'm hungry or not because I want to. It's just because, you know, I just know that I need to eat something, but I'm not an eater at all by any means. I don't even care for food. If I could live off of crackers and water, I would all, all the time. Um, and well, let's get into it. Look, so first supplement that I do take, and I'm oh, actually, let me make another note. Note right now, I'm not taking anything, so I haven't taken any supplements since um, since last March, and right now it's November. Just just to let you know, I believe that you should get off the of supplements for a while, and yeah, you should get your stuff, you should get all your nutrients and vitamins from real foods. But if you know that you're the type of person that's, that's like me who's not trying to eat all the time or you just don't have the option to be buying all that food and all the, this array of food or you don't have the, the time in your day to be trying to eat this because it's high in this vitamin, eat this because it's high in this vitamin, you don't, have, you don't have time for that. So that's why you buy supplements. It's to fill the void but not to live off of, you know. So I don't want to um, I don't want to give any credit to my supplements as saying that this is what helped shape my body. It's more of the what I was using it for at the time and what I need it for when I'm missing something but the supplements I take are for nutrients not necessarily for like growth and stuff but I'll tell you about that in a second okay so first thing multivitamin definitely want to take a multivitamin um, just because like I said it's gonna be a lot of foods that you you just can't get all the vitamins from in the beginning and you know you'll definitely need to have a multivitamin to fill those voids and which foods that have those vitamins in them but you can't find them that often so it's definitely a good supplement number two I start off every morning with green tea extract right now no but normally when I'm trying to get ready or I'm getting ready for a show or I just want to get leaner or something like that and I'm really taking my body seriously green tea extract that's probably like the cheapest thing you can take to burn fat it's a thermogenic it helps you burn fat by using the energy the fat that you already have in your body as an energy source while you're doing your exercise so it, it helps um, have that use that stored fat that you already got inside of you so when you're working out you're burning off your, your current fat and hopefully you're not taking in more fats you know because you're in you're probably in your cutting phase but you don't want to be um, taking in fats and using the, 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 the thermogenic the green tea extra thing that it's going to cancel it out it's not going to help you make any progress so you don't want to be eating no fats but when you're trying to get rid of fats that you currently have green tea extract is your man next thing vitamin C I'm running low vitamin C is definitely one of those vitamins that you want to take immediately after your workout it helps support strong bones but you know if you want to have strong muscles and build bigger muscles what do you think you're building them on you're building them on on bones right so you got to make sure that your bones are strong enough to support all this weight that you're lifting and all this you know weight that you're pulling and stuff like that so that you can grow and you know you, you won't be compromised because you got weak joints and weak bones all right next thing glucosamine and conjointrin um you definitely want to take this 
because it helps with all that. It helps with your, your cracking and your achy joints and maybe you got bad knees and knee problems and your knees cracking all the stuff. So you definitely want to take glucosamine. Um, I heard about it through a doctor. Actually, I was doing some research and, and um, my doctor was like, yeah, you know, your bones crack because I, I think I was having an issue with one of my elbows or something. And my knees all popping, my, my shoulders popping, my back cracks, you know, when I do whatever. But when you're taking glucosamine, you don't feel any of that. I'm not saying you got to take it all year long, but it's definitely good to take when you're getting ready or you know or if you're going to be doing some consistent heavy lifting this is one of the ones that you can take all year round as well same thing with this one same thing with um green tea extract same thing with your multivitamin these are all year round vitamins if you want to take them um kelp another one all year round kelp is one of those vitamins that that does a lot of stuff for you definitely helps for your overall health and you know it's one of those things you can't get from food right unless you're eating kelp all the time so take your kelp fish oil fish oil now the only meat I eat is seafood so I don't eat any other sea any other meats I don't eat any chicken I don't eat any pork I don't eat any beef lamb veal whatever you know I don't eat none of that stuff all I eat is vegetables you know grains peanuts and stuff like that and seafood so for me I get enough fish oil in my system because I'm always eating salmon you know or whatever other type of fish but normally fish oil comes from salmon if you're somebody who doesn't eat a lot of fatty omega-3 fish and stuff like that then you definitely want to take fish oil and what you want to do is you want to take two capsules with each one of your meals okay so fish oil twice each meal and um you know if you're not already eating something that's fishy if you're eating something like salmon for one meal you probably want to take fish oil with that meal also but if you're eating chicken all the time definitely take your fish oil and with that fish oil, in addition, you also want to take CLA. CLA, that's another one to help you burn fat. Um, men or women, all these, can, you know, anybody can take these. It's not necessarily just for guys. Both y'all take CLA. Also helps you burn off fats that you currently have in your bodies too. So two, two fish oils with a meal, one CLA with that meal too, okay? And you do that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You know, like I said, if you're not having seafood, but you can have CLA with each one of your meals, but you only need one capsule, you don't need two. Uh, the next one, melatonin. Melatonin, you can take melatonin if you want to. It's gonna help you sleep better. Sometimes when you're taking all these different vitamins and supplements, it'll help, it'll make you stay awake at night. So to offset that restless sleep, or you know, when you're putting on a whole bunch of muscle, you're eating all the time, you just can't sleep. Melatonin definitely is good to be taken to help you get to sleep. I will give you a disclaimer though. With melatonin, you might have some real vivid dreams and you might be, you know, thinking some crazy stuff, you know, through your sleep. So I would say just to be careful with that or to at least expect it when you're taking it. And it, and it might make you wake up real groggy in the morning. So you might be like, you know, your face feel like you just got beat with a stick or something, you know. Next thing L arginine, citrulline. Um, I've never had a good experience with L-arginine. I take it, but I normally take it because I'll be doing research to say, you know, oh, what can I do to get me more vascular? And I want to be veiny, whatever, whatever. And what'll end up happening is I'll see people say, well, you need to take fish oil, you need to take, you know, you need to take CLA, you need to take L-arginine with citrulline, not just L-arginine. But what I've learned is that you got to take so much L-arginine just to get that, that you're going to probably go broke just trying to fill in, you know, Get, getting veiny so I don't think it's worth it to take honestly but I have taken it in the past so I don't want to lie to you and say I've never tried it I have taken it but the pills are huge and you know it's hard to swallow those pills but you got to take like seven of them just to start seeing some blood flow so I don't know I've taken I've tried niacin in the past and niacin had me you know red and itchy too probably making my blood flow but I didn't I still didn't see any veins I just personally don't get veiny like that so you know I guess maybe just one l arginine for you might make your veins pop more but for me i don't get veiny anyway so i don't really know if it's going to be effective um creatine do i take creatine occasionally i do so whenever i'm getting ready for a show a competition i'll take creatine i don't take creatine when i'm not doing nothing though. not just be walking around here just all creatined up but i will take creatine if i'm getting ready for a competition um i take it immediately after the workout and creatine helps put water into your muscles and um, definitely makes your, your muscles look fuller rather than just looking all flat you know and it do, it does help with your strength as well you know you'd be surprised you take creatine and you think you're gonna go in there and, and be just a little bit stronger 
I'm not saying it's gonna you're gonna get stronger, but when you're when you're on that third set, fourth set, you'll still have that same amount of energy that you did, you know, as that first set. So creatine definitely is helpful. You don't want to take too much of it. The the directions normally say like take one big teaspoon or one big heaping scoop or something like that, and it comes with a scooper. I wouldn't take that much. I probably would say take half of that scoop, and um, just because you don't want to be you know, you you have you got to drink a lot of water when you're taking creatine too, because it'll mess your kidneys up. So you got to you got to drink like a gallon to two gallons of water. But for whatever reason, with the creatine, if you're if you're taking too much creatine, you may end up having that water spill over outside of your muscles, and then you're real smooth. You may still be bulky and stuff, but you'll look like you're retaining a lot of water, and you'll be kind of just more fluffy looking. And we don't want to be fluffy. You still want to be lean, you know, and still be able to see your cuts, but you don't want to have that fluff look. So. Um, I definitely would recommend to take that creatine and make sure you drink your water so you don't mess your kidneys up. And also with the creatine, monohydrate is fine. Um, it's, the, it's probably the cheapest one, but also you don't need to be taking the hydro one and all the other weird mixes of creatine because, yes, they may start having an effect on your body faster, but at the same time, um, you don't necessarily need to, you know, to, to have that creatine kicking right then it probably takes about two weeks to really start seeing the effect of it and so just make sure that you, you take it and you run through your jug you know give it two weeks before it actually starts being effective before you start telling yourself oh this ain't working and then after that it'll all start working but the same thing with the hydro and mono i think it just starts working a little i mean not the mono but with the hydro and the other thing they, they it, it makes the creatine start being more effective in your body sooner than that two week period or that 14 days or something like that but then at the end of the day it all starts whenever you're taking creatine after that your body accepts it as or converts it to the creatine creatine monohydrate anyway so therefore you know even if you want to start off with the with the hydro for two weeks and then swap over to the mono after the two weeks then that's fine you know what i'm saying because it's all going to come into your body as as mono anyway but you can either start with it or you can you know jump into it later um the next thing is a fat burner so do I take fat burners? Yes, but only when I'm getting ready for a show. Only probably the month before. Fat burners do work, and I've tried a couple fat burns, and I've always seen effectiveness. Sometimes um, they had the uh, Oxy Elite Pro that I was taking some years ago, and man, I'm glad they took it off the shelves because it was messing with my, it was messing with me trying to pee. Like I couldn't I couldn't get my pee out. It was like yo, I gotta pee, but I can't push it. You know what I'm saying? So. I stopped taking that one but if anything like that if it happens to you you get side effects from it then I would just say you know stay off of them but for the most part though they definitely do help you burn fat and you'll notice that you sweat a little bit more too so you know I, I'm not a, I'm a I believe in in fat burners you know what I'm saying so take them if you want to but just don't do them all year you take them like a month before your event or you know a month before your show or 14 days or something like that but not not long term also I've taken valerian root valerian root helps you sleep so that's another one instead of um what was it melatonin expel or water pill i have taken these as diuretics just to get the excess water out of my system but normally that's just the same thing like two weeks before the show date so i don't do that often but if i'm trying to really get all that water out of my system i'll take that and i'll stop taking creatine right before too because you got to start lowering your water intake and so when i lower my water intake i don't want to keep my creatine in my system but that's just a personal thing you know you do whatever you want um if you're trying to get clean and you want to get all that you know excess uh uh yuck muck inside of your body out of your intestines you want to clean your intestines out you take this which is castor oil castor oil is what helps you clean out your insides before you start doing all of this stuff so you know vitamins and nutrients might not work in your body as effective if you're clogged up so it's like pouring Drano down your toilet and then you see all that junk that kills inside your toilet it's a it's a healthy alternative you know it's not like I don't know what other type of stuff they got out there but I've always taken cash oil you can get it at your regular grocery store and just know make sure make sure that you take off work or you do it on a Sunday when you don't have nothing to do anyway because you're going to be doodling all day long. Trust me when I tell you, castor oil is going to make you doodle. You're going to see doodle that you've never seen before. It's going to be coming from your esophagus. I'm trying to tell you. It's going to be doodling everywhere. Make sure you shut the whole day down. And I probably it's probably going to kick in like six hours after you take it. And it's nasty. You take four tablespoons and watch six hours later. Watch you wait. Let the magic happen and see what happens. 
All right. Um, another thing I've taken is a Perry workout. This one is uh, like an intro workout. And so how that works is it just gives you that extra boost of energy through your um, through the duration of your workout if you're exercising and you just kind of know that you're low on energy but you still need to be you got to do your workout for you know for um, your event or while you're trying to cut or while you're trying to burn fat you might be doing a lot of cardio already and so when you do that cardio then you're already dieting and then you're, you're trying to go into the gym and still have a quality workout a lot of times you just don't have the energy but the Perry workout definitely does does assist another one that I take is um, a protein powder so yes I take a protein powder as a supplement I normally try and eat real food first but if I know that I'm on the go or I need you know like my, my, my protein faster or I need it right there immediately or like I like I told you guys before when you're natural your most anabolic state is right after your workout so you want to definitely get your protein and your BCAAs in right after your workout as well um, and your creatine and your um, and your leucine you want to get all that stuff in you know and your, and your calcium pills your vitamin C you want to get that stuff in right after your workout when your body's really going to absorb it so for me I used to take a mass builder back in the day this is before I was um, before I cut dairy out of my system and I just noticed that a lot of the mass builders and the whey protein powders normally bloat my stomach and they make me you know I don't really gain weight like I was trying to do I wasn't gaining weight anywhere else I was gaining it all in my stomach and I just had a big hard fat stomach and so I took that out and I switched over to going to a vegan powder which works a lot better for me I don't have one on me now but um, if I were you guys I would take a vegan protein powder rather than taking a regular one and hopefully one day if I end up blowing up on this page I can get sponsored by a vegan protein company because that's uh, that's one of my favorites okay next thing is um, I would recommend also taking magnesium oxide magnesium is good for helping you hold your pump you know a lot of times after you work out you'll be looking good in the mirror and then you'll leave out of the gym and then you're flat you know and you're like dang what happened you should have seen me when I was at the gym you know what I'm saying so my thing is that magnesium oxide is good to, to help you um, keep that pump and maintain that pump you know, even after your workouts and oh and another one that I take that I don't have a container for is um is leucine in itself so I take BCAAs as well which everybody should take BCAAs I take BCAAs first thing in the morning and since sometimes I can't afford to have that many like I can't afford to be out here buying BCAAs every week and so because you run out of them very fast um, what I'll do is I'll have a BCAA in the morning and then right after my workout when if it's in the afternoon or at nighttime or even if it's in the morning I'll do instead of doing another scoop of BCAAs I'll do leucine in its own and so my peri workout or my you know intra workout or whatever you want to call it has leucine in it but it doesn't have enough leucine and whenever you buy BCAAs you'll see that it says like a two to one to one ratio of leucine therefore that lets you know that leucine is the most um, prevalent source of, of um, branch chain amino acids that you actually need that's the one that you want to have and so what I'll do is I'll have my BCAAs then I'll also supplement that with its own just leucine supplement and so you know, sometimes they're hard to find but if you can find them I definitely recommend doing that okay I think that's everything um listen everybody thanks for following my channel I definitely appreciate y'all I want to let you know that you know I've noticed um, a lot of different channels that I follow and what made me jump into doing this anyway was that I didn't like the information that some of these guys were given and I don't think that some of these guys were given information based on um, trying to mislead you or anything like that but when I'm on on YouTube just like y'all on YouTube like searching for this video I'm searching for videos also and sometimes you know we only have we only have what we have available to us on YouTube and maybe only certain people will pop up and then you listen to that and you're like oh okay well that's a good idea but a lot of times though they might give bad information based on what they've been through but I'm saying I have alternative information that I can give you guys I'm not saying that the information is bad but it might be bad for you or you might want to hear different alternatives instead of just what they said so that's why I started jumping into YouTube because I couldn't find information you know from what certain people were, were doing that we had available to us on YouTube so I started making my own because I was like wait a minute that's not right you know or or he, or he he forgot to add in this or something like that you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna try and give y'all as much as I know and hope I'm gonna keep on researching as well too but if you know something you know definitely mention it in the comments because it'll help somebody else out who's watching this video or reading these comments you know so we all a team we gotta stick together 
and we want to make sure that we're we're out here representing you know for the natural lifters or whatever so you want to make sure that you know we're getting the the the, the big the biggest multitude of information that's out here available to us and coming together and making something shake from it um yeah so that's that's really it hey listen thank you for subscribing to my channel definitely appreciate it i'm flattered you know um I ain't gonna make no more videos about trying to convince nobody that I'm natural and stuff. I'm, I'm done with that. Y'all kick rocks, you know what I'm saying, if you don't believe me. But as far as everything else, this is what I take. If you know anything else that you may think I should take, you know, or, or you want me to test something out, you know, I definitely will. And, you know, I don't mind taking supplements. I didn't want to start off to you, like I said before, talking about I don't take nothing. And I really do. This is the stuff that's been in my body. This is the stuff that I know, you know, and I know how I respond to it. And I'm pretty sure, you know, for my clients that I've had in the past before, I've told them which things to take and which things, you know, I, I believe in. And they've taken them and they've seen results too. So, you know, if you want to try some of this stuff out, be my guest. But, um, yeah, that's what it is. Listen, thank you everybody for watching. And I'll catch you on the next video. If you got something else you want to see, let me know. And I'll see if I can make a video about that too. All right, talk to you later.